because look at it. It's, it hasn't even been finished and it's being sold here. Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with another Spain real estate video, the second video in this series. In last week's video, we looked at rental places around the country, what you can find in some of the big cities here in Spain when it comes to top end and low end rental properties. Today, we're going to look at properties that are for sale in two, three, maybe even four cities here in Spain. It depends, but uh, I'll try to get as many cities as I can. Now, the first city we're going to look at is Alicante. So uh, let's go to the website. Now, the houses we're looking at today or flats we're looking at today are on the Tecnocasa website, tecnocasa.es. Last week, we looked at the Idealista website, which is the number one internet portal when it comes to real estate in Spain. But this company here, Tecno Casa, is a franchise and they have offices all around Spain. And this is the website we're going to be looking at today. Unfortunately, we don't have any language options, so we've only got Spanish language options today, but no problems. I'll translate as we go through. So uh, let's get into this website. Now, we're going to have a look here firstly at Alicante. Let's uh, put this up here. We'll look at Alicante province, not only Alicante city. And as we know, Alicante is a Mediterranean city uh, down there in the Valencian community and very popular with foreign residents is Alicante. Now we can see that there are 145 properties on offer in the Alicante province and we can see on the map here where they are located, different parts of Alicante, mainly by the look of it in Alicante City. Now we're going to put a couple of filters here. So for example, I want a minimum amount of bedrooms to be two. Uh, the state of the property, uh, any state, so it doesn't really matter. And we've got other filters here, for example, heating, garage, uh, terrace, garden, lift, pool, and air conditioning. So I won't use any of those filters and we'll see what we come up with here. So let's have a look at the ads and we can see that we've got, in general, uh, with no other filter, only the minimum amount of bedrooms, which was two as we saw. But if we look at the cheapest properties, we'll have a look at the cheapest properties first, I think. So we'll see what you can get for uh, your money in Alicante at the lower end of the scale. Now, we can see the first one here, 36,000 euros. I imagine, looking at the building there, that it's a fairly bad property, old, run down, probably hasn't had any type of work done to it over the years. Another one here for 44,000. So that's the starting point in Alicante City. Now, I imagine, like all Spanish cities, there's going to be good areas and bad areas. And with prices this low, I would say, uh, I'm not an expert, of course. I would say that these are in bad areas, let's say, of Alicante or areas that maybe you don't want to live in. So let's have a look at what we can get here for 44,000. Piso en venta in Virgen del Remedio. We'll have a look on the map where it is. And we can see here that we've got, uh, well, you we don't really get much of a map here as far as Alicante is concerned. So we'll go out a little bit. We'll see how far away it is from the coast. So yeah, you're looking at a bit of a hike to the center of the city and also to the coast if you were to go for this property. And remember that you would have to do some type of renovation works on this property. Now let's have a look at the photos. Let's see uh, what the photos are offering here. Let's scroll through them. So that's the outdoor look. You can see that it's not on natural gas because there's a gas bottle in that picture. We can see here the uh, main uh, living area, all of the uh, furniture covered. Uh, cat sitting there on one of the chairs as well. Bedroom hasn't been cleaned up. Uh, also, this bed hasn't really been made. So people taking no care whatsoever to put decent photos on the site. Obviously looking here for a quick sale. And we can even see a picture of the owner on the fridge there. So uh, that's what we're dealing with here with this type of property. So as we saw there, that's what you're going to get for 44,000 euros in Alicante. As we saw, is it the center of the city? No. Is it somewhere that you would like to live? Probably not. So let's go now to the most recent listings. Let's have a look at what we've got here. And we can see here that the prices do increase a fair bit. Now this one here is the first one. We've got a virtual tour. So we'll get into this one, 199,900 euros. And we can see that it's in the Calle Juan uh, Ramon Jimenez, number seven. 
So what we're going to do here is go to the map, check out where this is, and uh, we can see that where are we here on the map? Let's have a look where we are. So this is not actually in Alicante City. This is in another town, I would say, which is um, uh, just outside the city. So you would have to take transport into Alicante to get there. Don't know Alicante very well myself, but we can see that it's in a town called San Vicente de Respech. So wherever that is in regard to Alicante City. 199,000 euros. Let's see what you get for your money here. Again, an outdoor shot of the building in question. Another one. Uh, you've got uh, businesses downstairs, which uh, come in handy when you are living in a flat. You've got everything at your fingertips normally. We've got a nice uh, entrance to the block of flats. We can see there a lift. It looks clean. So a decent property so far. And now into the property, and we can see the style as well. Fairly old. I don't think it's been renovated in a long time. We can see the furniture there also, uh, not modern furniture. So I would say that this is the typical flat where somebody has either recently passed away or retired and moved somewhere else, and they have been living in this uh, flat for a long, long time. So that's what you're getting for 199,000, was it? 199,900. So just shy of 200,000, four bedrooms, 124 square meters, two bathrooms. And uh, we can see here that it says that it is a magnificent apartment in the heart of the city, San Vicente del Respech, a pier de calle, which means that it's very close to street level. Everything is accessible and you've got all of the essential services close by. So that would be an advantage of living there. And you can get a mortgage on this place here starting at 811 euros a month. Now let's go uh, back to see what else is on offer. So we've got different uh, flats here, as I said, in the Alicante province, 340,000 aerial views there of a pool. We've got also another one here for 91,000. These ones have come onto the market recently. More expensive, Piso in Venta, Alicante Centro, 549,000. Let's check this one out, over half a million euros. So bang in the center, it is in the Casco Historico, Santa Cruz. Bang smack in the center of Alicante. Let's have a look on the map. And uh, yes, bang smack in the center. Let's see how far we are away from the coast or the port. And we can see that uh, we can throw a stone basically and hit the water there in this flat. Hence the price, uh, over half a million euros to live in this flat in Alicante. Let's have a look at some photos again. The typical outdoor shot, corner building, lots of services nearby, and we can see that this place has been recently done up. You've got a new bathroom, so you wouldn't have to do any works when you came in unless you wanted to personalize it a little bit more. Uh, the floors look good, the rooms look good, recently painted by the look of it as well. Uh, we can see here people obviously still living in it at the time these photos were taken, and a fairly decent living space as well. Nice uh, natural light coming in through those windows. But again, you're paying over half a million euros for this apartment. Outdoor living area would come in handy too to be able to take advantage of that Alicante weather. And as we saw before, the water not far away. You could be down at the port, down enjoying those uh, coastal walks very, very quickly. Another shot of the bathroom, another shot of the uh, living areas, bedroom, kids obviously living in there. So a decent flat for half a million. So that's Alicante. We've seen some properties there. Uh, ranging from cheap, under 50,000 euros, I think, to the more expensive, 549,900 euros to live in the center of Alicante. So that's what's on offer. Now we're going to go back to the main page, technocasa.s, and we're going to go now to Malaga. Let's have a look at Malaga, and we'll look at Malaga province. We saw some rental accommodation in Malaga last week. And here we've got a total of 370 properties available in Malaga. Again, we're going to put a filter on. We're going to look for a minimum of two bedrooms. So we'll have a look at that. And we've been reduced to 249 places there. Now we'll start at the cheap end, as I did with the last look. Let's have a look at what we get. So the cheapest that we've got is 29,000 euros in Antiqueda. Now Antiqueda is in the mountains of Malaga. Uh, a fair way away from Malaga City. So unless you're looking for a rural uh, lifestyle, you wouldn't want to live in Antiqueda, but you might be looking to get away. 
from the masses and for 29,000 you could do that we've got another one here for 33,000 we'll scroll up that one's been reduced by 14% obviously wanting a quick sale in Ariate we've got another one here in Coin which are all places around Malaga Casa Bermeja 48,000 so that's what you're looking to get into one of these rural type properties living in a small town I'm not going to say it's in the middle of nowhere it would be in a small town Piso in Benta Malaga Ciudad Jardín. Now, this flat here is in Malaga City. So we'll click on this one here. Not much of a view. Uh, we've got a view of some type of uh, outdoor, uh, don't even know what that is, the mountains or something, I suppose. Let's have a look on the map where it is. And we can see that it's on the outskirts of Malaga. Let's uh, scroll out, see how far we are away from the Malaga port. We, we are quite a ways away. There we are. So we can see here that you're going to be living a fair way away from uh, Malaga uh, port. So for the price, again, would you want to be living that far away in this place, which would obviously need some type of uh, renovation work done? Let's have a look for 64000 Reduce 4% for a quick sale. Let's have a look at the pictures. Yeah, again, people still living in here. And uh, is that some type of animal down there? In the bottom of the picture, not sure if it's a cat or a dog. In fact, I can't work out what it is. But we can see the couch there hasn't been changed in 20 years. You can see the picture of the kids on the wall. Uh, very cramped living spaces. Haven't made any effort at all to tidy it up for the photos. So obviously desperate to get out of there, I would say. The walls, yeah, bad coloured paint, in my opinion. Got the lay also. Here's the uh, kitchen area, not much going on there, dirty plates in the sink. So these people couldn't give an absolute stuff and uh, you'd probably see some marks on the toilet if we moved in close enough as well. All of the towels hanging up there. So these people are making no effort whatsoever to clean this place up to make it uh, decent for a person that might be considering buying it. So those are the pictures that we've got on offer. Another picture there of the Virgin, I think, Virgin Maria, kids room. So obviously uh, religious people living there. And uh, that's what you're going to get for €64,000, the cheaper end of properties in Malaga. Now we'll go back to the main page and we'll look for the most recent now, as we did before, the most recent listings, two bedrooms. And we can see that one's come up here, €320,000, Atico en Benta. In Torre Quebrada. Not sure where that is, but I don't think there's any pictures, so we're not going to click on that. Piso in Benta, Marabella, 170,000, just shy. We'll click on that one in a minute and check it out. Another one in Marabella, Marabella, Marabella. They all seem to be in Marabella. Casares, Alaurin de la Torre, 89,380. So a lot of variation when it comes to price. We'll check on this one for 170,000 in Marabella. Check out what's going on here. Uh, property's got a pool, which I can see straight away. Let's have a look where it is on the map. Uh, not far away from the coast, living in Marbella. So we'll check out and see if it is a decent property or not with some of the photos. Let's have a look. M nice views there of the coast. Can't complain. A uh, little uh, terrace area or balcony. Uh, pool downstairs as well, which I imagine is for the owner's use or the owners in these apartments. That would be the community pool, as they call it here. Uh, smaller uh, living area, uh, quite cosy. Again, picture of the kids or a picture of a kid there on the wall. We can see the woman who's taking the photos in the mirror there. What else we got going on? Nice views. And I say there is some nice light coming in. Seem to be a lot of photos of the same room. So obviously that's the main selling point. Photo of the garden area. Again, another view of that uh, salon or living area. Uh, kitchen quite small. Uh, what else we got going on? So it seems to be a fairly small apartment. We'll look at the, the size, 60 square meters. Yeah, so it is quite small, two bedrooms, one bathroom. And we can see here that it's in a, an area in Marbella called Las Palmeras 3, or the third in Marbella, Malaga. And the home is located uh, on the fourth floor. Uh, there's a lift, which is good, uh, garden areas, and a, a parking area for residents. So you've got all of that included there for 169000 in Malaga or Marbella, which is in the uh, Malaga province, of course, as we know. So not Malaga City, 
But not everybody wants to live in Malaga City, right? Some people might be more interested in living in a place like Marbella. Now we're going to go high end. We're going to have a look at the most expensive here, see what's available. And the most expensive property in Manilva, Piso in Benta, 850,000 euros. And this place here has, according to the description, 19 bedrooms or 19 rooms and 725 square meters. And if you want to get a mortgage, it's just under three and a half thousand a month. So where are we located here on the map? Manilva. So it's obviously outside of the main area. Let's have a look. Manilva. Once we can't, this is not a very good map area. So it's not that far away from the coast. It only took me a couple of movements to see the coast there. And we can see Apartamentos Manilva Green. So I think this is where it is. Let's have a look at the photos and see what you get for that price. The area looks a bit run down, to be honest. The building looks a bit dirty also, so it could use a, a coat of paint. Uh, the roof, don't know why they would show that. Uh, here's a picture of some type of uh, field, obviously, where they're growing something down there in Malaga. There's the coast. So you can see the coast. But this place looks dodgy. I don't know about you guys, but this place looks quite dodgy. What this is, I've got no idea. Looks to be an unfinished bathroom. So that's what you're going to be getting. You're going to be paying this price and you're getting unfinished works. Again, the place is not even finished. So it's been sitting there for years. Now, this for me is sending off red flags. So I wouldn't consider buying this place unless you knew exactly what was going on. Because look at it, it's it hasn't even been finished and it's being sold here. So 19 bedrooms or 19 rooms 725 square meters 850,000 for this place it's not even finished yet so this looks to be one of those properties that was started uh, many years ago probably during the property boom of the late 2000s uh, something happened people ran out of money didn't get the licenses and uh, again with this one I would check that it has got a license so let's have a look Sebende uh, hotel so it's a hotel does it say that it just says piso in venta so now it says here that it's a hotel. Here it just says that it's a, an apartment block. So I don't know what it is exactly. Ideal for investors. Have you ever dreamt of being the owner of this property? This is your opportunity. Uh, four floors and it is distributed in the following uh, way. You've got the ground floor, first floor, second floor, third floor. And then it also says that there's uh, a space for a lift and also for a garage. But if you bought this property here, you would have to spend hundreds of thousands, if not millions of euros, to get it into some type of livable state. Whatever you were going to do with that building, turn it into a hotel, turn it into some type of uh, accommodation block. I've got no idea, but that's what you're getting for that price in the Malaga province. Now we'll have a look at one more area, Almeria. I went to Murcia and Castellón, but there were no properties available there. But in Almeria, there is in Almeria province. And we can see that there are 568 buildings available. We'll put the filter on as we did the last time. Let's have a look here. Uh, two bedroom minimum. And let's see what we have got. We've got 413 properties available. We'll put them in uh, to the cheapest first, I think, as I have done before. Let's see what we've got. Casa in Benta, Urja, just under 10,000 in ruins. Forget about that. We'll, we'll scroll up and see if we can find something that looks uh, reasonably decent. Here we've got something here for 36,000. Casa Rural in Benta. So this is like a, a, a home in the countryside. 36,000 been reduced by 18% and it's in a place called Santa Cruz de Marchena. So we're going to click on that one and see where it is. There's also a virtual tour. And what they're trying to sell here, obviously, is the fireplace. Now we'll have a look on the map where it is. Again, not sure exactly where this would be in uh, this part of Spain, Almeria. So let's have a look. We'll scroll out. We'll go down, of course, and see how far we are away from any type of coastal activity. If we can find anything at all, not sure, but we're a long way away from the coast. So this place, obviously, up in the mountains of Almeria, but don't quote me on that. But uh, obviously not coastal living. Casa Rural. So what do we got going? We've got three bedrooms, 80 square meters and one bathroom, 36,900. Let's have a look at some of the photos. So we're getting into an older type property, as we can see. 
in a in the town, so that's a, a pro. The dining room looks uh, quite big, uh, plenty of outdoor space. Again, no natural gas. You've got the old gas bottle there under the bench, or maybe that's some type of barbecue area. Don't know. This is the uh, part of the pueblo, so it's one of these uh, white walled villages down there in Alameda, and uh, looks like a fairly decent living space. What was the size? 80 square meters, so not huge. But for a couple, for 36900 I reckon that could be a, a goer. Not sure. Let's have a look at the description. We've got uh, Casa Casa Cueva. So it's a cave home. In un pueblo, en el pueblo almerense de Santa Cruz de Marchena. Like I said, not exactly sure where this is, but obviously on the side of a mountain if you've got a cave home, because the cave would be uh, digging into the side of the mountain. And we can see that this is an opportunity, according to the person selling it, to get your hands on a home in this area, a unique opportunity. Don't let this one slip by. Come and visit it. So, yeah, why not? Check that one out. We'll go back to the map. We'll have a look at the next criteria, which is, of course, the most recent. We'll see if uh, anything has been put here recently. And we can see this one here. What have we got on the map? Let's have a look. We've got this one here for 124900 so a little bit more expensive in Alama de Almeria. Again, not sure where that is, but it's 500 square meters. So for that price, with that many square meters, let's have a look. So on the map again, I would say this is in a town somewhere here, and we can see that, yeah, we're heading up into the same area, I think, as the last one. So if we scroll out again and go down, we'll follow that river down to the coast. That's where you hit the coast. So you're not. A long, long way away, but you're not getting any coastal living in this property. But for the size and for the price, I reckon it's worth a look. So let's have a look at some of the photos. So I've got a decent living area here. Looks fairly modern. Not the most modern, but not the least modern either. Air conditioning on the wall, important. Again, another view of the same room. Let's have a look at what else we've got. Another room here, decent television. Don't know whether that's included in the price. Kitchen, decent size. Plenty of natural light, which is positive. What else? And definitely cleaner than some of the other properties that we've seen. This one's been cleaned up for, uh, for a showing. Bedroom, decent size also. Uh, another bedroom there by the look of it. Bathroom. Oh, is this a bathroom or is it a laundry? I don't know. Could be a bathroom. The shower with a walk-in uh, bath. Uh, yeah, so there we've got another view of the bathroom here. Toilet over there in the corner. Decent sized bathroom. And for the price, you could probably do some renovation works there and put in a decent bathroom. Another bedroom, bunk beds. Obviously had some kids. And an outdoor patio area, which uh, in that part of Spain, Alameda, you know, outdoor living is the way to go. And some more outdoor space here. So there we go. That is what is on offer here in Spain when it comes to real estate on the technocasa.es website. Now, unfortunately, not in English. You would have to get somebody to look at that or translate it for you if you wanted to use that as a website. But as I said, Technocasa is a real estate franchise here in Spain. And some of the areas that we saw there, we saw Alicante, we saw Malaga, we saw Almeria. There were no properties available through Technocasa in Murcia or Castellon, so a bit disappointed there. I tried to look at those two areas, but couldn't find any properties available, so only the ones that we saw today. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. If you have anything to add to the conversation today, please, the comment section is the place for you. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.